All right, welcome to another episode of Practical Design. Today I popped up the chart and it was just for today's here in California and we're at, actually no, this pops up as usual for London because it's the quick chart and we're looking at July 7th, 2021. So this chart spoke to me as soon as I saw it just because we've got 35, 36 and the 1222 in the transits. So this means that I'm looking at the connection between the throat, which is the third from the top, and the solar plexus all the way on the right. So this is a connection between the very transformational and manifestation force in life and communication. This is the throat and the solar plexus, which is where our emotions actually come from and where very, very fine-tuned sensory awareness actually originates from. This solar plexus is actually fundamentally where our awareness is moving as a species. You see, if we look all the way to the left, if we look all the way over to that splenic center, you'll see that we have very, very open, except for this undefined 57, rather. We have an undefined sacral center with only one activation and it is a design 57. So it's not that it's undefined, but this 57 actually is within the unconscious mind. For you see all the red you see in this body graph demonstrates imprints that were within the design. The design is the technical term for the body. This is the unconscious mind. And so we see in that splenic center, it's very, very open. This is where existential survival awareness actually rests. We share this center with all sentient life. So all animals, rabbits, birds, bees, insects, you know, single celled organisms don't necessarily have a spleen. They don't have existential survival awareness. Say, for example, if you go over to the right a little bit and you look at the other two undefined centers in the middle in the power column, we see that the self-center is undefined as well as the sacral center is undefined. And so these two are interesting because in even a single-celled organism, fundamentally, they have something called the 15-5, which is that connection between the self and the sacral. And so these centers represent our sense of self-direction in life and love direction for the self. And moving down in the sacral, this is the very life force energy itself. I like to connect this with the Gaian mind. This is like Mother Earth in a sense. This is that force within us where the Kundalini energy comes from. And even in a single-celled organism, they have that 15-5 generating the rhythm and the flow, the natural harmony, the up, down, here, and there, and the rest in between. That allows life to exist. You know, these complicated biological machines that operate in perfect harmony all the time, and our brains have just now gotten complicated and sophisticated enough to develop a mind that can reflect upon itself and start to look at these mechanisms and contemplate it and create chemistry, you know, and biology and start to think we know what's going on. And really, it's just so fascinating, the, the situation we find ourselves in. And um, just taking one more step farther into this chart, we have the undefined heart as well. I always like to go over the undefined centers because that gives us the framework the mind is working with. So not only does this person find the challenges in looking for love with that undefined self, they might be looking for love outside of themselves. With that undefined sacral, they don't know necessarily when enough is enough in life. With the undefined spleen, they might hold on to things that aren't good for them because it gives them a sense of well-being, even though it's false. And with that undefined heart, you find people who don't necessarily have a defined sense of self-worth, and they might try to prove themselves to other people. 
Thankfully, this person has a defined sense of individual inspiration coming from their crown to their mind. And they have a logical system in their design, that's 17. So they can really think for themselves, but they can't always necessarily communicate their logic to other people. And so that's just about five minutes or so of my perspective looking at this chart. You know, if any time you want to reach out or look at your chart, we can actually go one on one into what your specific design is. This is all based off of when and where you were born. You see there's subatomic particles called neutrinos that our sun is releasing in every direction at all times. And when you were born, when you were released from your mother's womb, the first moment that you're actually in space on your own, cord still connected, but you were in space on your own, that neutrino imprint penetrating your crystals of consciousness at that exact angle, that moment you were born, that stays with you forever. And this is a map of that potential for differentiation. And if you'd like to learn more, feel free to reach out. Take care.